Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will see how to download Git on your Windows machine. So to do that, we'll just go open a browser and just type in download Git. And uh, the first, probably the first link that appears, which is this s git scmcom slash downloads, go ahead and click on that one. And then it'll on Windows and it will go ahead and click on the download for windows button here and now it will quickly start your download you can put the download wherever you want i would like to put it under my git folder here so i'm going to go ahead and put it i already have it so i'm just going to let it replace it so once you have installed the git go back to your place where you have installed it and go to your downloads and click on the uh, git wherever you have installed one it might take a couple minutes to install so once you have installed it and we will just go ahead and click on the executable file this is an executable so just go ahead and click on this executable and uh, we're going to go ahead and install this particular file so once you have started the installation it will ask you for do you want to make changes click on yes click the next button here it will go ahead and create this folder git under the program files and then if you need additional icons or you wanted to create a desktop icon, you can go ahead and click on this checkbox. Otherwise, just go ahead and click next, next. And now make sure you're using the Git from the Git bash only because um, this is one of the safest choice. So I will go ahead and click this one and then click next here. Click next, next and install. So this installation might take a couple minutes and uh, once it is installed, we're going to go ahead and make sure that so now it successfully has finished the installation. Now we're going to go ahead and it will appear a finish button. We're going to go ahead and click on the finish button. We're not, we don't want to see the release note. Just go ahead and click the finish. Now what we have done is we have successfully downloaded Git on our machine. If you want to check it, you probably go to your programs here. And if you search for a Git here, then you're probably going to see a Git project or a Git uh, folder get created under the program file so now if you go ahead and search for git and you just there are two folders appear git bash and git qe we're going to go ahead and click on the git bash here once you do that it'll open this bash window for you now this is the window that we will be working with and we will be working uh, with command command line instead of a GUI because that's the easiest and the faster and a good way of understanding what Git is. So here we're going to go ahead and see if we have successfully installed Git or not. So you to check that what version you have, you write this command git dash dash version. Now this will give you the current version of the Git on your Windows machine. So this, this particular command went successfully and it gave you the correct version if you did not had the git installed on your machine then it will basically will say git is not the command not found or something like that so follow the same exact steps in this tutorial and download the git